Some discoveries are so exceptional that they awaken a growing interest over the years. Such is the case of the Roman villa of Senseyes. Its true size was hidden for a long time. Its stone walls conserve one of the most important pieces of evidence of early Christian art in our environment. But they also hold a number of enigmas yet to be uncovered. We invite you to travel the path of history to discover a unique monument still open to interpretation and study. In the 16th century, Luis Pons de Icart made the first mention of the Roman history of Senseyes, then a chapel dedicated to St. Bartholomew, located between Constanti and the Francoli River. Close to the village of Constanti, there is a very old building called Senseyes, no doubt the work of the Romans. Previously, in the Middle Ages, the building had harbored the parish church of the town of Senseyes, abandoned during the 14th century. This liturgical use must have contributed decisively to the conservation of a part of the building up to the roof, a fact exceptional in itself. In 1859, the chapel was very run down and in disuse. It was bought by Antonio Soler and later turned into a farmhouse. However, it was not until a few years later, in 1877, that Sanseyes would begin to reveal its most astonishing enigma. For some time, I had noticed that when pieces of plaster fell off the St. Bartholomew Dome, one could see drawings. Chance led me to discover that the whole of the dome was a mosaic of great relevance. The vast scope of the discovery attracted scholars like Bonaventura Hernández Sanauja and later Luis Domenech y Montané. It was declared a historic and artistic monument in 1931. However, Sanseyes revealed its true size when it was acquired by the German Archaeology Institute in 1959, and an exhaustive recovery process got underway that would bring its true value to light. In 1978, the German government donated the monument to Spain, and it was later transferred to the Generalitat of Catalonia. Today, the Roman villa of Senseyes offers a story of mysteries and true facts. A story that even today presents a number of enigmas to be solved. What was the original function of Senseyes? How was it transformed? What different uses were made of the building? Archaeological findings suggest that the Romans built a villa here in the early imperial period. A rural building devoted to local farming and positioned on the side of the Roman road that led inland from Tarraco. With the previous villa abandoned and destroyed, a new building was erected during the late Roman period, of which some of the main halls and the baths have survived. This is the phase that corresponds to the dome room, the only one that conserves the original roof and decorated with paintings and mosaics. Other rooms that made up the magnificent central body of the building run off either side and open onto a large landscaped area. 
Research into the monument has generated a number of hypotheses about what the building was used for. Was Senseya's an aristocratic villa? Thermal baths? A basilica? An unfinished villa transformed into the mausoleum of Constans, the son of Emperor Constantine? The original function of Senseya's continues to be shrouded in mystery. The Senseya's mosaic, a jewel of early Christian art, generates an unceasing feeling of mystery. From the door, looking up, we can admire the decoration of the dome mosaic, organized into three concentric strips that culminate in a medallion at the top. A laborious meshwork of a million tesseras represents brightly colored scenes on a variety of different subjects. On the lowest strip, above the window, a group of people watch a hunt taking place on either side of them. At the other end, above the door, we see the villa, the beginning and end point for the group of hunters. Above this is a strip featuring numerous biblical scenes. The Good Shepherd above the person in the middle of the hunting group. Jonah and the whale, the three men in the furnace, Daniel in the lion's den, and others that have been lost or are very deteriorated. The top strip is taken up by four panels showing people on thrones flanked by ceilings that are smaller and which feature a representation of the seasons. Spring and autumn are the best conserved. Right at the top, in the central medallion, there are only two faces, not enough to know their significance. Historians and archaeologists have offered various interpretations about the people on the thrones. Some believe they are part of an imperial project supported by the usurper Magnentius, the assassin of Constance. Others that they belong to a great aristocratic family, while others yet believe them to be senior church figures. The entire piece closes in on itself like a circular universe, a universe open to new interpretations. Discovering Senseyes also involves traveling the Roman roads that connect it with Taraco and the other monuments that make up the area's outstanding architectural heritage. Signs of cultural identity, key parts of the rich and complex mosaic that is history. The history of Senseyes continues to move forward. Although much remains to be discovered, we invite you to learn everything Senseyes has revealed thus far.